Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a grocery haul for you, a big keto grocery haul. I went to Coles here in Melbourne and I've done a massive shop for the week and I thought I would show you all the goodies I got and some of the meals, talk you through some of the meals that I'm going to make. Um, and so let's just get straight into it. First we've got some big cucumbers here, some nice cucumbers and strawberries. They're in season here in Melbourne. We're just in beautiful summer strawberry season. They smell amazing. Um, and if you've watched my hauls and my videos before, you'll know that I allow myself two to three strawberries a day with fits within my macros and I'm still losing weight doing it. So I'm quite happy having two to three strawberries a day with plenty of whipped cream, plenty. I mean, this plate is usually loaded with whipped cream rather than strawberries. And so I get some lovely fresh strawberries. Oh, they smell amazing, look at them. Beautiful, fresh Australian strawberries. And look at this bargain that I found, 50% off these mushrooms. I'll eat them in the next day or two, maybe make a mushroom sauce to go with some eggs on the side, or maybe some of the meats, which I'll show you in a bit, some nice mushrooms in some cream. It's a lovely way to enjoy these mushrooms, which need to be used today, tomorrow. Um, and spinach, an enormous, enormous bag of spinach. Look, it just goes on and on. That's my kind of go-to greens. My go-to greens through the week are spinach and avocado. So we've got two avos here. And those also go to that I just, you know, I have avos, quarter of an avo, a lot of meals, the side with eggs or make a salad or um, just have it by the spoonful. Um, and lemons as well, just a little bit of zest or some juice. I've been experimenting with some smoothies with lemon in. Um, uh, if you're new to my channel, then I'm actually in the process of putting together a smoothie ebook, all low carb smoothies. So um, I've been playing around with some lemon flavored smoothies, just a little bit in it goes a long way and it's some really luscious lemony flavors. And look, we're already at the dairy section. We've got some feta, I like these because um, rather than opening a pack of feta, sometimes we'll go through a whole pack and other times it's kind of nice to have these separated so I can have a little bit and then the next week open the other one rather than it going hard. Um, and mascarpone, so many uses. Mascarpone and cream cheese interchangeable with fat bombs and smoothies. Um, my tuna dish, there's my tuna. I like to replenish my tuna stocks in my pantry. A bigger tin and a smaller tin. So um, for lunches, I might have a big tin by myself or for dinners, I'll share a larger tin with my husband and mix it with my mushrooms and some mascarpone and some cream, some, some cream cheese and some cream. We've got thickened cream and sour cream over there. Um, the oh, So many uses for both of them. At most meals, I will have cream of some description. So I always make sure I get a nice big tub of each every single week in my weekly shop. Um, and this, this is my favorite go-to milk of choice. I use this almond coconut milk. It is super low in carb. Where's the nutrition? Where is it? Uh, per serve, 0.9 grams of carbs. And um, I'll maybe have a half a cup of that or a cup in smoothie or a protein shake, depending on my day. And it's on special calls this week, so I made sure I got two of them just to replenish my stocks in my cupboard. Oh, and I just dropped a cucumber on the floor. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, and cheese, I've got a whole block of cheese, but like me, I've also been liking using this grated cheese. So often for my dinners, trying to put everything together. I'm just so excited. Um, I've got two packs of sausages here. These are awesome. I found these herb and garlic sausages. They have, what is it? 1.8 gram of carb per sausage, which is pretty low because the other ones I've been having in the past have as much as three and a half, three and a half carbs per sausage. So at 1.8, I can pretty much have two of these for one of the other ones. Um, so with these, it's the most frugal dinner you could ever have. I cook a pack of these and we will have two each for between the four of us we have two each sausages is eight in there and on top of it I'll stick heaps of grated cheese a bit of avocado and a generous dollop of sour cream and that is the perfect dinner the per I have that so often through the week so I always make sure and look we've got a long use by date 23rd of December which means they don't usually last that long, but it means that I've always got those and I kind of go first for my more fresh We've got chicken and roast lamb. I'm gonna make a roast lamb there I kind of goes for those to cook those first and then the sausages later on in the week 
I mean, if we have sausages two nights in a week in a row, you know what? Everyone loves sausages and they go down really well in my family. So I'm quite happy. We've got sausages, we've got roast lamb and we've got chicken, which I'm probably going to roast as well, I think. I'm still deciding. Um, I've got all these chicken drumsticks. It's our favorite piece of chicken and I've been doing loads of whole chickens lately and I just feel like just having legs. So we just got legs. Um, and so we've got chicken legs. All those sausages and lamb. I'm going to cook for meat for the week. And panning down over here, we've got a carton of eggs. We go through so many, so, so many eggs. Um, and salami as well for meats. Um, I like cooking my mushrooms with salami as well. So I might do like a fry up with mushroom salami, fried egg. Oh, so good. Um, and let's see if I left anything. Yep, the stevia was on special. Um, I've only just opened another tin, but... I tend to, whenever it's on special, I will buy a tin because we go through it and it's got a pretty long use-by date. So I make sure I've got one when I open the next to get another one. Um, and I think that's kind of the haul today. My big keto haul. Look, pan back. Look at that mess in the background. Excuse me. Um, so that is the video for today. Thanks so much for watching this keto diet grocery haul. If you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. I usually share three new videos every week, but right now I'm taking part in Vlogmas and I'm sharing a new video every single day of December. So check back in every day and see what I am up to. I share videos just like this one, all kinds of keto, low carb inspiration, grocery hauls, I share what I eat in a day, I share all kinds of chatty videos, recipes, all kinds of things. So make sure that you're subscribed, hit that beautiful red subscribe button, join the Yummy Inspirations community. Love to have you part of the family. And leave a comment, let me know what is your go-to grocery haul item. What do you buy every single week? What's your keto, low-carb grocery haul that you just make sure you can't leave the shops without? Mine probably has to be eggs because there's just so much you can do with eggs. Eggs, sour cream, and kind of all of these, I buy the same things most weeks. If you've been watching my hauls, you'll see sometimes there's little bits and pieces added. But this is a big shop and this will last me the whole next rest of the week. So make sure you are watching to see what I do with some of these ingredients that I'll be experimenting with. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.